Hi, I'm Karen Thaxton with Live the Pickleball Life, and I have a Paddle Tech Bantam EXL paddle that I've been playing with for about two weeks, and I've got a lot of good stuff to tell you about it. I have my notes here, so I don't forget to tell you anything, including please, while you have just a second, hit the subscribe button and the like button, and be sure to click the bell so you get notifications of all the new videos as soon as they come out. I'm going to start with a confession. I really wanted to review this Paddle Tech paddle because the Bantam series paddles is what Anna Lee plays with. So this is not the exact one she has. Hers is the, the same paddle but the extra lightweight version which is the TS5. So if you require an extra light paddle you may want to look into that but the one we're going to look at today is the EXL from Paddle Tech. Now I need a heavier paddle because I have tendonitis in my playing arm and the less I have to work to get the ball where it needs to go with swinging the better off so the more power I have in the paddle the easier it is on my arm and that's another reason that I went with a heavyweight paddle. Now the EXL is available on the Pant, uh, on the Paddle Tech site, starting at 7.8 ounces and going up to 8.4. And right now, at the time of this video, it's $99, which is not a bad price at all for the quality that you get in this paddle. It is a full-size paddle, and it features the Advanced Bantam Polycore Interior and that gives you really responsive returns. And I noticed that right away when I began to play with this paddle and I could really appreciate the balance as far as power and control went. So let's knock this ball around a little bit and you can see it in action and hear it as it goes. As I've played with this paddle for the last two weeks or so, I've noticed that ground shots and serves come off really easily without a lot of extra effort in my arm. And dinks pop right over the net with a lot of accuracy. And the EXL even keeps up really nicely during volley battles right at the kitchen line. So I love the way this paddle plays. It's even very forgiving if you don't get every hit right in the sweet spot. Even let some of the other players on my home court try it out and their comments were things like it has good pop, which I agree. Uh, I like the control it gives and one person said I'm surprised it's only 99 bucks. Seems like it would be a lot more expensive and it isn't. It's really good quality. Just a quick side note, I mentioned tendonitis in my elbow, so I need to let you know that this is not a vibration dampening paddle. I hope this gives you a good overview of the Paddle Tech Bantam EXL. If you have any questions, just drop them down below in the comments section, and I will get back to you with the answers to your questions. Thanks for your time. Have a great day on the courts.